What's going on ladies and gents, Dalibor here for T3G and we're going to play around with the setup a little bit. Today we're doing something that I haven't done in a while. The last time we did it blew up, you guys loved it. So let's hope that you guys love this one too. If you're up to date on our videos, you'll know that I did a little, little unboxing of this guy. AMD Ryzen 1700, I did uh, definitely call it the i700 which was completely inaccurate, but the 1700 AMD Ryzen processor. I am super, super ecstatic about building this computer. We've now received one more piece of the puzzle. We've got the Cryo Rig H7. Cryo Rig H7 cooler. That's what we're going to be using. The tower is actually going to be the Defender Ultra 2. We reviewed it a couple years ago. Uh, it's no longer necessary. My mom's moved out of the country, so we actually have that free. Uh, I'm cleaning it up, polishing it, and make sure everything looks good for the video. But that's going to be the next step. But today, today, folks, we're going to talk about the MSI X370 Gaming Pro Carbon Motherboard. Let's do this. Now we don't normally do unboxings, but I like to get into what's really in here and what you're getting for your dollars. All our stuff is underneath, so we've got the board. We've got, these are cables that I'm going to have to do some research on, not really sure what that's about. Uh, of course we have our Crossfire adapter. We have a couple black right angle SSD cables. Of course our back panel, which looks very, very similar to the 970 and our paperwork, instructions, warranty information, and of course, the installation disc that no one's gonna use. MSI is also real nice by including these uh, cable labelers. Uh, I don't use them in any of the system builds, but I do give them to my mother-in-law who has memory problems and forgets what cables go to what. So, thanks MSI. Won't need the paperwork, won't need the installation disc. Ah, I lied. We will need the book because I have no idea what this cable is for. Now this, this is pro level MSI. This is a one to two LED Y extension cable. Yes, RGB lives, man. RGB, in my opinion, has been the greatest thing that they've integrated in everything in a long, long time. Let's look at some basics right off the bat, right on the back panel, we've got couple standard USB ports and a PS2. Good on your MSI if you like your old school mouse and keyboard. We have straight DVI, which is nice, onboard, onboard video, HDMI, two would appear to be, yep, super speed, so 3.1 and 3.1. This bottom one says VR ready, so I don't know if that's additional power or what, we'll have to look into that. And then we have another, I take it back, those, so the first couple are actually 3.0 it looks like because the, the bottom one here with the gold plating is labeled as SS10. That'd be the 10 gigabits per second, which would be 3.1, which is also why it's on the same header as the USB type C, which, thank you, can we get into the future already? Type C. Think about when every board has Type C instead of A plugs. How much space are you gonna save? Just think about that. Just how much space is gonna get saved? Let's move on. We have our audio panel, pretty standard. We do have a line out as well as a line in, and of course the optical, which is real nice. Now we've got these gorgeous carbon heat sinks everywhere. I'm not gonna lie, I actually think these might be carbon fiber plates that are on this. It just, it has a feel about it. I love the dim slots. They are strapped down with what appears to be aluminum. I love it. We've got one, two, three, four, five onboard fan headers. Looks like we have a, well, we've got a header right in the middle. I'm gonna have to look that one up as well. We've got our aluminum plated PCI Express slots, which are gorgeous. Love them. They really fit in with the carbon aesthetic. They bring out some metal against the black, but let's talk about what's between the PCI Express slots. Not one, but two M.2 SATA slots. Are you serious? Just think about this. You toss on a 256 for your boot system, you toss on another 512, let's say, for data, you don't have to use a single SATA cable. And honestly, who uses optical these days? You could literally almost go cable free. Besides fans and power, oh, this, this is gonna look good. This is gonna look good. We've got our standard bottom ports for our audio, 
our USBs, but now in addition, since this is an RGB enabled system, we also have LED slots, we also have power for LED, and we even have a demo button for LED when you have it all hooked up. You'll notice with the heat sinks, there are tiny cables that come out and attach to the motherboard. That's for the LED functionality. We've got, as we should, two USB 3.0 headers. Thank you. I'm tired of having to mess around with converters. And of course, the star of the show, we have the Ryzen CPU slot. All right, folks, since we're not gonna be building this right now, this is gonna be it for this one. We'll definitely make sure to link down below if you're watching this after the fact to the finished build video so you guys can see what this looks like in the system. I'm super excited to get this thing built up, put in the case, I think it's gonna look excellent. I'm gonna make sure that we get some LEDs to get the whole full effect going on because Come on, it's got LED. We gotta put some LED in the system. It's gonna be nice. Appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure you come back next Monday for another tech video. I know we've been gone for a couple weeks, but just refreshing, getting ourselves together, making some new plans. Check out our One Minute Wednesday on Wednesday, of course, gaming Thursday, Friday, and throughout the weekend. Again, thank you for watching. I will see you on Wednesday.